Ancient Iranian Medicine, Wikipedia Article Audio The practice and study of medicine in Persia has a long and prolific history. The Iranian academic centers like Gundasapur University were a breeding ground for the union among great scientists from different civilizations. These centers successfully followed their predecessors' theories and greatly extended their scientific research through history. Persians were the first establishers of modern hospital system. In recent years, some experimental studies have indeed evaluated medieval Iranian medical remedies using modern scientific methods. These studies raised the possibility of revival of traditional treatments on the basis of evidence-based medicine. History and Background Pre-Islamic The medical history of ancient Persia can be divided into three distinct periods. The sixth book of Zend, Avesta contains some of the earliest records of the history of ancient Iranian medicine. The Vendidad in fact devotes most of the last chapters to medicine. The Vendidad, one of the surviving texts of the Zend Avesta, distinguishes three kinds of medicine, medicine by the knife, medicine by herbs, and medicine by divine words, and the best medicine was, according to the Vendidad, healing by divine words. Of all the healers Ospitama Zarathustra, namely those who heal with the knife, with herbs, and with sacred incantations, the last one is the most potent as he heals from the very source of diseases. Although the Avesta mentions several notable physicians, the most notable Mani, Ruzba, and Bozergmer were to emerge later. The second epic covers the era of what is known as Pallavi literature, where the entire subject of medicine was systematically treated in an interesting tractate incorporated in the encyclopedic work of Dinkart, which listed in altered form some 4,333 diseases. Medieval Islamic Period The Third Era begins with the Achaemenid dynasty, and covers the period of Darius I of Persia whose interest in medicine was said to be so great that he re-established the school of medicine in Sais, Egypt, which previously had been destroyed, restoring its books and equipment. The first teaching hospital was the Academy of Gundasapur in the Persian Empire. Some experts go so far as to claim that, to a very large extent, the credit for the whole hospital system must be given to Persia. Cranial Surgery and Mental Health According to the Vendidad, physicians, to prove proficiency, had to cure three patients of the followers of Divyasnan, if they failed, they could not practice medicine. At first glance, this recommendation may appear discriminate and based on human experimentation. But some authors have construed this to mean that, from the beginning, physicians were taught to remove the mental barrier and to treat adversaries as well as friends. Interestingly, physicians' fee for service was based on the patient's income. The Iranian science was interrupted by the Arab invasion. Many schools, universities and libraries were destroyed, books burned, and scholars killed. Nevertheless, the science of Persia resurfaced during the Islamic period. To save the books from Arab carnage, many Pahlavi scripts were translated into the Arabic, and Iran produced physicians and scientists such as Abul al Usain ibn Abd al Hibn Sna with Makron and Muhammad ibn Zakaria al Razi, as well as mathematicians such as Khwarizmi and Omar Khayyam. They collected and systematically expanded the Greek, Indian, and Persian ancient medical heritage and made further discoveries. One of the main roles played by medieval Iranian scholars in the scientific field was the conservation, consolidation, coordination, and development of ideas and knowledge in ancient civilizations. 
Some Iranian Hakim such as Muhammad Ibn Zakaria Ar Razi, known to the West as Razes, and Ibn Sina, better known as Avicenna, were not only responsible for accumulating all the existing information on medicine of the time, but adding to this knowledge by their own astute observations, experimentation, and skills. Kanun Fel Teb of Avicenna and Kitab al Hawi of Reza were among the central texts in Western medical education from the 13th to the 18th centuries. Obstetrics and Gynecology In the 14th century, the Persian language medical work Tashri al Badan, by Mansur ibn Ilyas, contained comprehensive diagrams of the body's structural, nervous, and circulatory systems. Evidence of surgery dates to the 3rd century BC when the first cranial surgery was performed in the Shari Sukhte in southeastern Iran. The archaeological studies on the skull of a 13-year-old girl suffering from hydrocephaly indicated that she had undergone cranial surgery to take a part of her skull bone and the girl lived for at least about six months after the surgery. Several documents still exist from which the definitions and treatments of the a headache in medieval Persia can be ascertained. These documents give detailed and precise clinical information on the different types of headaches. The medieval physicians listed various signs and symptoms, apparent causes, and hygienic and dietary rules for prevention of headaches. The medieval writings are both accurate and vivid, and they provide long lists of substances used in the treatment of headaches. Many of the approaches of physicians in medieval Persia are accepted today, however, still more of them could be of use to modern medicine. An anti-epileptic drug therapy plan in medieval Iranian medicine is individualized, given different single and combined drug therapy with a dosing schedule for each of those. Physicians stress the importance of dose and route of administration and define a schedule for drug administration. Recent animal experiments confirm the anticonvulsant potency of some of the compounds which are recommended by medieval Iranian practitioners in epilepsy treatment. In the Canon of Medicine, Avicenna described numerous mental conditions, including hallucination, insomnia, mania, nightmare, melancholia, dementia, epilepsy, paralysis, stroke, vertigo, and tremor. In the 10th century work of Shah Nama, Ferdowsi describes a caesarean section performed on Rudaba, during which a special wine agent was prepared by a Zoroastrian priest and used as an anesthetic to produce unconsciousness for the operation. Although largely mythical in content, the passage illustrates working knowledge of anesthesia in ancient Persia.